So how do we grow a YouTube channel? So I'm gonna give you a couple of ideas here. Um, so first, first of all, I, I think, you know, I think it is probably worth for you to go onto YouTube and search how to grow a YouTube channel because the people whose videos come up at the top are probably doing a good job of that. Do you see what I mean? Like they, they know what they're talking about. That's why their videos are at the top when you search how to grow a YouTube channel. So I, I do recommend all of you do that because whenever you search is gonna be whatever strategy is uh, working at the moment. But I'll, I'll tell you what, what I have noticed um, having been on YouTube now for you know something like 10 years. And granted, I grow my channel very slowly. So please take my advice <laughs> with a grain of salt. But I have, of course, had had some success with YouTube. You know, I have my biggest video is uh, almost 3 million views. So I have I have a video like that. And I have some videos that are tens of thousands of I have some videos that are hundreds of thousands and some videos have tens of thousands of views. So I, I do know a little bit about how to make certain videos go viral. But just to um, just to kind of the, the short answer to this is to grow a YouTube channel, you need viral videos. Uh, so, so really the, the answer is, how, the, 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 the best question is, how do you make a video viral? Because they are viral videos grow a YouTube channel. Okay, so how do you make a YouTube viral, uh, how do you make videos that get watched more? So a couple of um, tools for tips for you here. One is if you can interview famous people, okay, you will have a viral video. If you can interview Brene Brown, now, of course, Brene Brown's not gonna say yes to any of us who are watching this probably, because she's too busy. She's interviewing the top you know, elites of the world. Um, so, so you, but, but still, if you can interview the most famous person you can get a hold of, okay? So it could just be someone like me, right? Like maybe I'm famous in your mind or I'm famous in your, in your field, but it, it's, I think it's better to, interview people who are famous in your niche, in your field. Um, so in other words, people who are being searched on YouTube. So if you look, really, I mean, I think all of us have at least one person that we can reach that's like that. Um, so look at your LinkedIn contacts list, look at your Facebook friends, look at your, who's following you on Instagram. Who's follow, not who you're following, because they might not care. They might not care to respond, but who's following you, right? So look at the people wh whose attention you have and who is the most famous among all those people, uh, especially if it's related to your audience, related to your niche, then, um, <laughs> you know, and make more videos with cute animals. No, uh, then interview that person because that, so, so uh, you know, interesting example. And the, uh, recently, a uh, recent example for me, is um, I interviewed uh, Danny Gardner, uh, Danny D A N I Gardner, and she has been getting increasingly great SEO reach in the past couple of years. People are searching something, and then it's they're finding her, and then now people are searching her name. And because I interviewed her a couple years ago, almost every month, at least one or two email subscribers. Which, by the way. Like someone who watches YouTube video and then bothers to go to my website and subscribes my email, that's like several steps, right? So like that's like if for every one email subscriber that came from YouTube, there's probably 10 or 20 or 30 others who discovered me in that way. Do you see what I mean? So like at least one or two a month will tell me they discovered for my email newsletter will tell me they discovered me because I interviewed Danny Gardner. Do you see what I mean? Like Danny is now more famous than me in terms of the, the YouTube search. So, so, so not only should you, you know, you might say, George, I don't know any famous people, even in my niche. No, no, no. We all know people who have a bigger audience than us in our niche. So if you just interview people with a bigger audience than you in your related area, they are probably rising stars. And in the next few years, people will be searching their name and find your video. And that's, that's really, a, a, I, and that's not just with Danny Gardner. I've also interviewed... Um, several other um, well-known people in my field and also in related fields and people find me through those videos very, very often. So that's one. Um, uh, the, the second one is um, kind of related, I would say, is basically trending topics. If you can make 
videos about topics that are hot topics within your industry? Is there a particular issue or question or problem that um, people are talking about recently in your industry or among your clients? You know, you notice people asking you this kind of question. Okay, the simplest question is, okay, I'm gonna ask you two questions right now. One question again is, what is a hot trend in your industry? Go ahead and comment below, chat below if you like. I'm actually talking to some of you who are live here. So I will call out a couple of ideas. Let me just pause this recording and see what ideas you all have. And thanks for those who are live here and um, chatting ideas here. Um, <laughs> Angie says, how to deal with pain in birth. That's That's been hot for 5,000 years, 10,000 years, right? <laughs> Not just hot now, but yes, it is, it is going to be a trending topic always, right? Um, let's see here. Catherine says inclusivity and anti-racism. Anti Absolutely. I would say past five, seven years, especially, right? Um, let's see here. Uh, Shweta says liver and colon cleansing, um, which can be harmful in her opinion. Wonderful. You know, it's like if you can make a trending topic and give your controversial opinion, that's even better than just making a trending topic that says what everyone else is saying. Do you see what I mean? Very, very good point. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what else uh, is standing out to me. Daniel says human design and gene keys. Absolutely. My gosh, you know, my, my wife's been getting into that for the past couple of years and it's just getting more and more. So absolutely anything about that. Um, in fact, you know, funny thing, Danny Gardner, the one I mentioned earlier, she got famous in SEO because people were Googling human design and you know, like, like a particular human design type and marketing. And she had written an article about that or made a video. And it's like, suddenly she noticed it was blowing up. She hadn't done anything special other than chanced upon the right keywords at the right time. So trending topic, you know, does that. And YouTube SEO is much easier than Google SEO. Google SEO takes six to 18 months for Google to really pick it up and have finding, you know, first page results, sometimes it can be faster, but most SEO experts say six to 18 months on Google. YouTube, one to two weeks. Yeah, so you see how much faster it is. So that's why YouTube is much easier to test topics and, and things like that. <clears throat> um, Gregory says toxic masculinity, which is the opposite of Gregory Vahanian, right? <laughs> so you can, yeah. Um, so yes, toxic masculinity is, is, uh, is definitely been, been big these days. Um, Catherine says, learning to work with trauma, huge. I, I would say past five to you know, 10 years, it's gotten more and more and more, and more important. So <clears throat> notice you can see trending topics, hot topics by looking at what your niche mates, others in your industry, uh, if you see more than one person. So that's really the simplest way to find trending topics. Look at your niche mates. You now, I don't like to say competitors, I like to say niche mates because niche mates are your potential partners, your mirrors, people to learn from. <clears throat> Look at if more than one of your niche mates is making a, a post or a topic or a video about something, the same thing. If more than one person is doing that, that's called a trending topic. Now, three or four or five, well, definitely it's a trending topic. So take notice of that. <clears throat> now, the second question I have for you is <clears throat> Have you had excuse me, had to cough there. Have you had more than one client or audience member ask you a question about a particular topic? So think back to the last three clients you worked with, not the last three, but the, the last several clients you worked with. Had they all come to you about a particular issue or question or goal? And if you don't have clients yet, have you noticed people asking who are your potential audience members? The same question that, that is within your field of expertise. Go ahead and comment below if you'd like, particularly those of you who are live here. All right, and thanks to those of you who are chatting um, below here. You know, um, let's see, uh, Ginny, uh, her business is Soul Pet Connections, um, says getting dogs to stop barking. Yeah, great. Well, that's, if multiple people have asked you that, that's definitely, uh, you know, fun things, I would say how to get my cat to stop meowing because a dog is much easily, more easily trainable. As you can see, Buddy is a very, very good boy. <laughs> my cat's a little bit less, uh, more individualistic there. But um, let's see, another one. Um, Carrie says, how do I regain my faith? Yeah, wow. 
yeah, if more than one person asks you that, that's definitely something you can make videos. I mean, that any of these topics, dog, stop barking, regain my faith. These are things you can make videos about multiple from multiple angles, of course. I mean, how to regain my faith. You, you could have 25 videos just about that from different angles. Same thing with dogs stop barking. Oh, what's the root cause of dogs barking? What is um, one tip that's often shared but doesn't work in my, in my opinion? Or what's something people say but that I think is harmful for the relationship with the dog? You know, like different angles on, on every single one of these. Catherine says self-care when you're an activist. Absolutely. You know, a lot more activism is happening these days and people are burning out, right? So so these are, these are different ways of finding trending topics and questions that are much more likely to get your video um, popular. Now, once you have, once you have those uh, trending topics or ideas, the next thing to do, and I'll, let's, let's go to Google right now uh, for this. The next thing you do is to go to Google, uh, go, Google go to Google Trends, so trends.google.com, and search that keyword and see what you can come up with. So uh, how to get dog to stop barking. Okay, <clears throat> let's go ahead and press enter there. All right, and um, basically I would advise you to do past five years and see if it's going up or down. Oh, this is going slightly up. So that's actually a good topic. But if you see something going down, 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 <clears throat> it's, it might be okay for you to make a video at this point, you know, but more and more it's gonna be less and less searched. But let's scroll down and see here related queries. How to get, <clears throat> how to get my dog to stop barking. At, if, you, if you move your mouth, if it's very long, but if you move your mouse uh, over this and wait, you'll see that it says explore, how do I get the, the, the real question? How do I get my dog to stop barking at strangers? Question mark. Literally, if you make a video with that in the title, people are actually searching this and people are more likely to find your video as a result, right? Uh, how, to get, uh, how to stop dog barking at neighbors. You see, these, are, these could be different videos or it could be the same video and, and um, you could do strangers slash neighbors, you know? Um, my dog barks at everything that passes by, right? You see what I mean? Like, these are actual searches that, that people care about. And uh, at the bottom here, let me go ahead and just, uh, sorry. <clears throat> uh, let me, I'm sorry, I'm adjusting my video. At the bottom here, you can keep going to even more queries. Okay, these are, these are less relevant, right? Uh, Anti-bark caller. I mean, you could have a video about your opinion of anti-bark callers. Maybe, you, maybe, maybe it's, you think it's helpful, maybe you think it's harmful. It's worth talking about that, right? Um, and then, by the way, if you if you click on any of these, it'll it'll further. It says breakout, which means if you click on them, now you get even more ideas, right? You scroll down. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. There's there's nothing else here. But if you click on various other ones, sometimes there's there's other ideas. Like for example, something that's a shorter keyword, like anti bark collar. Look at this. It's plus 140 percent, which means it's rising. These are rising topics. I mean, it's getting more and more popular. So if I click on this, and then if I scroll down, there's probably, yep, some related, uh, not that many, but some related things there. But instead of rising, you can also look at top, which means top right now, that's top, not necessarily going in a good direction, but these are very popular as well. See, and there's many more queries there to look at. So again, Google um, Trends is good. And if you are looking for something and you're not finding a Google Trend, so for example, if I do, uh, if, I, if I start over on Google Trends, I'm going to go to Google Trends homepage and say human design and gene keys is probably a less searched term. You see, there's not enough here. So it's like, well, I'm not, it's not helpful. So what I would do then is probably go to Google itself and just search this on Google and see if I can um, find shorter, uh, short, uh, shorter tail keywords. Uh, maybe I'll just go with human design, right? Human design or gene key on Google Trends, and that might be more helpful. So I'm just gonna say human design, okay? And search this. And uh, if I look at past interest over time, uh, past uh, five years, it's probably going up, I bet it's going up. Oh, it's definitely going up, it's, you know, it's, this is good. And then scroll down, uh, human design's Joe, Jenna Zoe. All right, now this is interesting, okay. Remember I said, you know, you interview famous people and people are searching for them. It's basically, I'm not saying famous, people who are being searched. So if this Jenna Zoe person is being searched, you should make a video about Jenna. I don't, I have no idea who Jenna Zoe is, right? I don't know if this is even relevant, but if it is relevant, you could, you could talk about someone who's being searched. Now, if it's not someone who is, um, if it's not someone who's famous, 
they might find your video, you should probably just say good things about them. <laughs> okay. If it's someone like stratospheric, who's never going to watch your video, like I can, I could talk shit about Tony Robbins or Brene Brown. If I genuinely believe, if I have genuine critics, like negative criticism about them that I think will be helpful for my audience, I'll, I'll talk shit about them all day long. Again, if it's genuine and, and authentic and, and helpful for my audience, like, this is why you shouldn't trust Tony Robbins. I don't, I'm just using that name as a famous person, or this is why you shouldn't trust Oprah, you know, whatever, right? Because they're never going to watch my video. They don't care. They, they, you know, they're never going to watch my video. And if it helps my audience and they're like, that's a really good point. And people are searching those names. They're going to find my video. You see what I mean? So famous people, stratospheric, famous, you could talk shit if it's authentic and if it's helpful. If it's someone who might find your video, just talk nice things about them if it's authentic right, and helpful. So, um, and the last thing I'll say is that this is mainstream YouTube advice. Title and thumbnail are the most important parts of uh, what the YouTube algorithm cares about because that's what human beings care about. Before they click on your video, they, they see your video suggested and they'll click on your video based on the thumbnail image, the preview image. Is it interesting enough? Is it on a topic that they care about? which is of course the title also is about that. So just be aware of how the titles and thumbnails are, are being uh, in your industry. What are the popular videos and the title and study them and see hmm, how can I borrow that advice? So I hope this helps.